Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So what's new in Android 4.3? Well, let's get to it. Alright guys, we are here with Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Now honestly, this looks just like Android 4.2.2 and there really aren't many visual changes to be seen. Just to prove that this is Android 4.3, let's go to Settings, About Tablet, 4.3. Alright, so Android 4.3 brings on a lot of performance and under the hood changes that you can't see. Some of them include a new OpenGL ES 3.0 support, that just pretty much means you're going to get better graphics when it comes to gaming, so that's a plus for developers. It also includes a uh, new Bluetooth Low Energy support, which pretty much is what it says, Bluetooth Low Energy, uh, conserved energy of using Bluetooth devices, it's great for when we use all those fitness applications and stuff like that. And finally, DRM support. Now, DRM, we know, we all know DRM, and we probably think it's a bad thing, but actually this is good in a sense that it will allow apps such as Netflix to stream content in full 1080p resolution. Because right now, Netflix does not stream 1080p resolution to your Android device, or to any device for that matter, um, any mobile device. Another thing that's really not under the hood, but I can't show you because this is a tablet, is for the phone dialer, it auto-completes with the contacts, so yeah, that's kind of cool. So let's get to what you can actually see in 4.3. So the first noticeable visual change for 4.3 is the use of restricted profiles. So profiles was available in Android 4.2.2. This is not new. But what is new is adding a restricted profile. So we go to restricted profile. And then we can select the apps in which they have access to and they can see. So for example, let's say I want this person to only see the camera application, Chrome, and Earth. That's it. So we can go to that. And we can go back. And also, it's going to prompt you to create a lock code for your own profile. Um, I would create a lock code, so that's already taken care of. So when we go to lock, unlocking it, we have my profile with the lock code. And then we also have the restricted profile right here. And here we go. It loads up the restricted profile. And they have access to only the apps that I selected. So camera, Chrome, and Earth. And these are just probably the standard Android apps that you have access to anyway. So like I said, it's a great way to, you know, hide your porn apps or what have you. Or wherever you want to hide, I guess. If you really need to use protected profiles. I don't know. But it's pretty cool and it's there. So, yeah. And next change in 4.3 is a new keyboard. We actually have an emoji keyboard right there and I mean it's really not that exciting but it's there alright so we have this emoji keyboard which we can sort through different categories and smileys and stuff like that so that's kinda cool I don't really think there's much of use for this but <laughs> if you're into emojis this is awesome and yeah so obviously we're gonna input one get the proper emoji that we need and that's pretty cool as far as that's concerned Otherwise than that, Android 4.3 is pretty subtle. Um, not too many changes. It's just a minor update for Google and Android. So nothing really to see here. Performance-wise, it's still really smooth. Now, I really don't have any other apps besides the stock apps installed. So <laughs> I really can't confirm too much about that. Um, one thing I know people are going to ask about is the whole memory leak issue. With the Nexus 10, there's this whole memory leak, which is kind of present. I can't really confirm whether or not the memory leak is still present or not. Uh, I haven't even used 4.3 for too long and don't have any other apps installed. So we'll have to wait and see as far as that goes. But otherwise not. It's smooth performance and it's just great. So I'm using, I got this 4.3 from the stock image available from Google, the developer site. Uh, you can do the same. We can wait for the OTA, which should arrive sometime tomorrow, if not later today. So I hope you enjoyed this, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more galvanizing videos. Thanks. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to go down there and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to stay updated with my latest videos, go up there and hit that subscribe button. You can also find me on Twitter at TheDaveGeek along with Facebook and Google+. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more galvanizing videos. Thanks.